one of the things that I wanted to share with you that's um, been a little bit problematic at the moment uh, and it may get fixed uh, once we get to full release but in the beta at the moment the travel of the trim wheel in the default Cessna 172 is very slow it's beautifully matched to the indicator position um, within the sim and what I'm actually got here so through my Moby flight and the settings I've checked all of that that works but the travels really slow so I'll demonstrate that now so here is I've just gone into um, a standard 172 uh, in X plane 12 just so I can show you the center console and I've zoomed in on the trim wheel and the indicator uh, and what I'll do down here in my physical trim wheel is I'll start to rotate and uh, and show you what I mean. So so here we go now. What I'll do is I'll 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 nose up. Um, so I'm just moving it now. And the way I can tell is where I've got the nodule here. Um, as you can see now that should be at the bottom. Um, and it and it sort of is. But it's just taking forever. Like it seems to be really slow, and you know I'm having to rotate the wheel so many times just to get you know like I've done it now, you know, 16 odd times, 17 times. I just feel now if that's supposed to be how it is, then fine. But honestly, that is a lot of trimming uh, for me to to play with. So you can actually speed this up. Uh, and again, you can do that in Plane Maker. And um, let me show you how you can do that in Plane Maker to make this travel faster uh, in terms of getting, you know, your deflectional point from your center takeoff out to each side. Um, make it travel just a little bit quicker. Let's go to Plane Maker and let me show you how we can do that. Okay, so in Plane Maker, uh, what you want to do to be able to access the trim wheel settings that you've got for your plane is go into the standard view, navigate down to control geometry and click that. Uh, within control geometry, there's a bunch of tabs here. What we're looking for is the trim speed tab. And then you've got a whole bunch of settings here for trim deflections for airplanes, for helos and control deflection rates. What we're looking for here is the uh, trim full deflection time. Now as you can see if you have a look at these settings through here you've got the aileron trim full deflection time and that's 20 seconds from centre to either extreme elevator trim and rudder trim so obviously we're looking for the elevator trim uh, and that's what we want to do so at the moment they've set that to 20 seconds let's just take that down to 10 seconds let's halve it and see what happens now it may get a bit too dramatic but we'll, we'll take it to 10 and see what that does back in the sim so remember we were at 20 seconds which is common for the other ones let's just take that down to 10 and save that and then jump back into the sim and see where we go okay here we are back in the sim so you remember we changed the travel time from being 20 seconds now to 10 so we've effectively halved it so what that should do is effectively double the speed um, of the trim wheel travel uh, for when I'm rotating the trim wheels so let's see what that does uh, I'll do it again and as you can see now that is moving a lot quicker than what it did before um, it's still uh, perfectly placed but that's moving a lot quicker and that actually feels a lot better uh, now you can play with that to your heart's content you might think it's too quick and you want to slow it down in which case you would just simply up that value uh, but uh, yeah that does feel a bit better for me um, so I'm going to try that now uh, and anyway that's how you do it so in plane maker use that setting um, adjust that and tweak it and see how it feels on your aircraft uh, whether you want to slow down your trim wheel travel uh, or speed it up hope that's helped you a little bit and uh, look forward to catching up with you next time bye for now